All right, what's up, granddaddy? I'm hearing lately been thinking about you baby just sitting away watching the days go by lately been thinking about you baby just sitting away watching the days go by It's giving people watcher energy of like life slowing down, allowing life to sit slow down and people watch. Who sings that song? I don't even. What's the name of the song? Alexa, play the song that go like lately. I've been thinking about you, baby. Just sitting away watching the days go by. She ain't playing that shit. Alexa, pause. She playing never can say goodbye. I mean, it might be a message in there too. Alexa, play. Because if we talk about some thinking lately, thinking about you, sitting away, watching the days go by, and then never can say goodbye is coming on. Alexa, play. Alexa, volume up. Grandfather, what's this energy? Someone has to say goodbye and they don't want to say goodbye. You got five of swords coming out. Every time I think I got it, I go, yeah, I go. Someone has to say goodbye and they don't want to say goodbye. So either someone is moving away or they have to end something and they don't want to have to end it. Tell me why is it so hard? Never can say goodbye. Never can say goodbye. Every time I think I hang out to start heading for the door. Okay, we got the page of pinnacles coming out. Someone feels like they have to leave something behind because they can't afford it. Hangman coming out. Someone has to pause something. They have to end something. They have to leave something behind. They have to let something go. Grandfather, why is this coming out? So something must have recently happened where either you had to let something go or let someone else go or someone else had to let something go or let you go or that is about to happen, okay? Let's see what signs are involved with this. <laughs> no, 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 no. All right, let's see. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on with the going on, honey, okay? We got the hermit coming out with Virgo. We got the magician with Gemini. And Virgo, Gemini again. God dang, okay. Cancer, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio. Was that six? One, two, three, four, five. Is it so? You go. Yeah, that was six. Well, honorary Pisces at the bottom of the deck. Okay. But this energy is given someone has to let something go or let someone go, but they don't want to have, they don't want to, but they have to because they have some type of opportunity or some type of change in finances. Um, a new opportunity, or they may have like lost a job or they have to move, or something happens. Someone's not doing, they're not proceeding with some something has to stop. 
okay? Grandfather, why is this going in multiple ways? And why are we talking about this? Because someone needs to know that it's not like because of you, you know? And it's not even on no like Donnell Jones where I want to be type stuff, you know? Someone may be thinking that someone left them behind because they with somebody else. But it's like, no, they getting their money up. The song that just came on is How Can I Look um, If You Won't Let Me by Aretha Franklin. Oh, this is my song right here, y'all. Volume up. Alexa, volume up. Where's my microphone? Dang. It ain't no way for me to love you. If you want to let me, there ain't no way for me to give you all you need. If you won't let me give all of me. I know that a woman's duty mm. is to love and have a man, and that's the way it was planned. <laughs> but oh, how can I? How can I? How can I? How can I give you all the things I can? All right, child. This energy with granddaddy energy coming out, okay? And you can't love somebody more than what they're allowing you to. So it's like someone is taking a step back because they know they can't accept something. They can't accept what you have to offer. They, they don't know how to perceive it or receive it. So this could be a friendship. Someone has never had a healthy friendship before. It could be a lover, okay? Someone has never had a healthy lover before, you know? Or it could be a sense of someone is just like, dang, I can't afford you, you know? And it's like, can you be mad at that? You know what I'm saying? Like, can you be mad at that? Like, I would put, you would prefer someone like, and it's not saying, and it's not even like you saying, but I don't care about somebody if they got money or not. This person do care. You get what I'm saying? Like they care about what they can't do or offer yet. So it's giving a vibe of stepping back because they can't, they're not emotionally available for a friendship. They're not emotionally available for a lover. They're not emotionally available for a coworker friendship. Like they're not emotionally available for this. So you can't give them this because in their head, they like, whether you accept it or not, I gotta be good. You get what I'm saying? There go that yellow butterfly. It's two of them. And I need you. Oh, it ain't no way. <laughs> y'all gonna get tired of me. I know y'all do. I know some of y'all, you know, let me not speak that. Some of y'all be getting tired of me. I know y'all do because y'all be saying in the comments, okay? <laughs> well, some of y'all love it, okay? But this grandfather energy, and I feel like he's saying that because he's pushed people away before. He's pushed people away before. He's been in a space where it's just like, baby, I can't accept this love. And you could be given all the love. You could be given all the care. You could be given all the support. You could be given all the motivation. You could be given all of that. But if they don't know how to receive it and they can't receive it, they're going to pull it back. Okay? They're going to pull it back. And just because they pull it back don't mean that there's something wrong with your love and what you have to offer. It just means that they not able to receive it. They're not able to receive it, baby. And so this is giving a strong energy of keep being a lover. Keep being who you are. Keep being that. Keep being that lover. And just because somebody can't accept your love don't mean that it's something wrong with you, you know? Why Drake coming on? How does come on after this?
Alexa, next song, because this song just messing up the whole vibe. She said, F you. She made a sound and said, I'm going to keep playing this. That's wild. That's wild. Disrespectful. Just disrespectful. Okay, somebody might get kicked out the house. That's random. So somebody might be kicking somebody out the house and they saying, you know, I got to do it. That's the only way you're going to learn. Okay. I don't know. That's for a very select few. <laughs> so Alexa said that's her jail. <laughs> she really did. Like, she really was like, uh -uh, and kept playing the song. I feel like she made it go higher. Look what I done with my life. And it ain't kind of, it kind of, again. And thinking that money was right. Yeah, I'm just here for the hype. Man, I'm just done, 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 done. <laughs> we do be in here arguing like she my daughter for real though, okay? Let me find out. All right, granddaddy, what you got? <laughs> granddaddy okay different dick i'm hearing let that man be a man they know what they need right now when a man tell you what he is what he can do accept it when they say that you too good for them right now believe it okay if they push you away stay away okay that don't mean come closer <laughs> That will be come closer, okay? They push you away, stay away, okay? Listen to the things that they say. They tell you what they want. They tell you what they desire. They tell you all that, okay? Don't start making these stories up in your head, okay? Because there's some people that may be in a relationship with somebody and that person ain't in a relationship with them. They, they not in a relationship with you, okay? They not in a relationship with you, boo, okay? So it's something about having open communication of some sort. Granddaddy, what's going on? You know how people ask that question like, are you in a relationship? And they'd be like, no. And be like, is there anyone who feels like they're in a relationship with you? Okay. Usually the answer is yes. Okay. Usually the answer is yes. Somebody got to, what's going on? What's going on with the change in the vibe, granddaddy? I don't want to hear this change in vibe of music. Okay. Somebody's working overtime or they may be picking up on some overtime shifts because they want to buy you a gift because the song that just came on is, um, I don't get tired. Alexa volume down. So this person may have a child. They have responsibility because they got responsibilities now. Okay. Someone has responsibilities. Okay. So they got to work extra hours. Okay. But it's giving a vibe of someone working a lot because they want to buy someone something. They want to show that they're good enough for something. Okay. <laughs> they said, I want to buy something. They want to buy someone something. So some of you all have some, you have someone who's like been working a lot more of some sort because they want to buy you something. They want to do something nice. The granddaddy is saying it's giving like that movie was toxic though. The notebook, okay. Then you know what I'm saying it was a little toxic, you know. But the aspect of like I don't know someone trying and wanting to do something to be like seen as being good enough for someone, okay. I don't know. Someone may be seeing someone as being like this highly uppity person too. But they don't know you have like a, a ratchet trill side to you too or something I'm getting. But this grandfather is saying, let them keep thinking that. So I don't know. Take that as you must. Okay. Take it as it must. You have the hermit coming out. Yeah. You need to keep something. King of cups and the four of wands. Someone likes how you keep to yourself. Someone thinks you're low key, but it's just like, 
you think I'm low key, but when I'm around certain people, I pop out. You know what I'm saying? But they gonna like it when they see it. But they like the part that they see right now. They like the part where like you vibe, you low key, you got balance, you have foundation, you have like some type of like foundation set up. Someone is attracted to foundation. This King of Cups in the upright, that's someone who's emotionally intelligent and someone who is emotionally available. Okay. Um, this grandfather energy is definitely saying it's something along the lines of emotional availability. And when a man or a woman is emotionally available, they communicate. They, they're very open about those things. They don't beat around the bush. They have their different things together. You get what I'm saying? With this hermit energy, they know what it means to separate themselves for a while and then come back together. Your person is separating. I don't like saying that your person. <laughs> Granddad, we don't talk about we don't talk like that on here. So change your language real quick. Okay. Cause I don't know where that just came from. Your person. Your person. What person? Okay. In the words of grandmama, Jesus is my best friend. Okay. Jesus is my man. When my grandmama died, I mean, not when my granddaddy died, when my granddaddy died, I was like, great, you gonna get remarried? You want a new boyfriend? You know me, I play. I play with everybody. I play with my grandmama too, baby. I gave my grandmama lap dance one day. She was like, I rebuke you. But baby, I asked her she was gonna get another husband. She said, no. She said, baby, Jesus is my husband. <laughs> this is giving the Bible someone who spent a lot of time to themselves for a while. So your person, it's spending a lot. Of, why am I still sick? Granddaddy, we about to end this whole reading because what we not about to do is talk like that. You hear this ring camera just came on. We don't talk like that up in here. Okay. It's some type of surveillance going on. Somebody's stalking. Somebody is stalking. Somebody's watching love readings on your ass. What is going on? Somebody watching love readings on you. They watching them. You're a person. <laughs> Your person. <laughs> if you talking to someone or dating someone or someone knows that you're into spiritual stuff, they watch it too. They watch it too. They they watching you. They stalk it. Okay, that that's the word that keep coming out. I'm hearing stalk it. It's giving like they watching to see like what you're doing, what you into. Okay. Like they may not be like outside your house type stalking, like peeking through who's that creeping in the window. They ain't creeping in your window, y'all. Don't don't go nowhere. Oh my gosh, I'm afraid. If I'm a butterfly said they stalking me. Oh my god, they, they, I ain't say that. I ain't say it like that. They looking at your social media and stuff. They want to see what's going on. And this is not someone with bad intentions. This is not someone with bad intentions. This is someone who's just like, I want what's best for the collective. Like they, yeah, Knight of Cups. They want to see how to woo someone over. Someone has someone watching them to see how to woo you over. What science is this? Granddaddy, what is this? I'm hearing they learn from the best. <laughs> this person got an a elder that's teaching them how to approach you. Okay, this one, this person has an elder teaching them how to approach you. So this is someone who has a dating prospect that's coming up. I just heard in the next six months. All right, so we have Cancer, Gemini, Page of Cups, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Virgo, Aries. Someone's watching how to approach someone, okay? Because they want to do it right. It's like they want to do it right. So, like, they're virtually stalking. Like, they're watching readings. Like, I know the collective is a tourist, so I'm going to watch the tourist readings. And see what they talking about. Like, that's what this person is doing. They not in your window, y'all. They not, they not tapping your phone line, okay? They not doing that, okay? Let me make sure I make that real nice and clear, okay? 
They not driving by your house, parking outside with binoculars on. That's not what they doing. That ain't what I'm picking up on. That ain't what granddaddy, because granddaddy said he wouldn't even approve of this type of person. Okay. He wouldn't even approve of that type of person. So you ain't even got to worry about that. This is someone who's like, I'm hearing don't ask my neighbor by the emotions. Alexa, play don't ask my neighbors by the emotions. Ah, here go my microphone, y'all. I found it. Alexa, volume up. You wondering if I care about you, if that's the cause that I should doubt you. Oh, oh, oh. All I can see, boy, that you don't know me very well. Uh -uh. You're so unsure, and you run here and there to ask my feelings. Friends only guess, they can't say really, whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't ask my neighbor. What she say? Don't ask my friends. I hang around to come to me. Hey, don't ask my neighbor. Come to me. Don't be afraid of what you see. Hey, you'll find I love you. Okay, granddaddy. Okay. Okay. Oh, wow. Now that's some other stuff right there. Okay. You said that's your theme song at work. <laughs> you know, Jess, I really do really need to make this mixtape. I, I know I do. I know I do. It's like other things I need to get out the way first, but that is definitely on my bucket list before 40. Before I turn 40. Oh, saying that sound. Oh my gosh, I'm close to 40, y'all. That's wild. I still feel 25. <laughs> but yeah, so don't ask my neighbor. Someone is like asking around, looking around, asking the elders what to do. They're asking for advice. My hopes is that they don't get outdated advice, like get advice from someone that don't like know you. You know what I'm saying? Advice from people who don't understand you or just none of that. Like that's the only downfall. They may be getting advice from someone who don't know you, you know? Look, we about to be 40. That's a wow. I was like, and I feel young. That's the thing. So I'm not about to show. I earn these years. Okay. I earn these years. <laughs> I earn this piece, baby. Y'all, the king of swords. This person, they're building some confidence to speak of. They're building some confidence to speak up at this time. They building up confidence to speak at this time. Look, I ain't that close to 40, but, you know, I round up. Once you hit 35, you round up, right? <laughs> Once you hit the five, you start rounding numbers up. <laughs> but y'all get me? I'm getting used to it. So when it hit me, I don't feel it. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, shit, I've been saying I'm 40 for the past four years. So. <laughs> you said we still wet behind the ears. <laughs> All right, granddaddy, this King of Swords and the Knight of Cups. 
<laughs> it be coming fast, but I still feel young. Do 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 do. Busted. You got justice coming out. Listen, Linda. Okay, Granddaddy, what's this ju justice mean? We're going to go to a different dick. Alexa, volume down. Busted. This person going to get caught spying. They're going to get caught. Either they going to like something on accident or like you going to be over there so you're going to see their search history or something and you're going to see like this person go get caught and you go know that they've been searching up things to try to learn about you. Like you may find it like they search history or something like you use a computer and you see in a search history. They like how to get a Gemini to fall in love with me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like you may find like some shit like that going on. You get what I'm saying? With this busted coming on. Somebody gonna get caught. Somebody gonna get caught. Bust it, cause you bust it. Bust it, cause you bust it. Here come the emperor coming out again, honey. Look at the emperor coming out again. Emperor, what you got to say, honey? What's going on with the emperor, honey? Me and some girlfriends, we went dancing. Two of baskets in the reverse and then the father of knives in the reverse. Somebody daddy. Somebody daddy is giving either bad advice or they're learning bad habits from their daddy. So someone's father has control over them. With the emperor being up here, that represents the father. The two of baskets is the coming together, right? But it's in the reverse. So someone's daddy is getting in the way of someone courting someone or coming ahead to someone, the other, the father of swords coming out in the reverse. So someone has either father issues, daddy issues. So either they didn't have a daddy there to teach them how to do this right, or they have someone giving them bad advice. Okay. So this gives a vibe of like someone getting the advice of like, you got to make them wonder where your mind at. You got to disappear for a while. Baby, you can't do women these days like that. You disappear. For 24 hours, she blocked you. She got somebody else. And it's like, because it's like, definitely if they give you all their attention, right? You start disappearing, she going to give somebody else their attention. You get what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I was only messing with you. But once you start acting up, bye. Okay? So this is giving that. But somebody is giving getting some a little bit of bad advice. I ain't even going to lie with this. So if you got somebody that's acting up, doing something weird or acting weird it's because they give they getting bad advice because this person is insecure when it comes to approaching people or saying what they need to say. So they don't know how to, you know. Grandfather, what else you got? 82, 82 coming out. This person may be born in 1982. Okay. What else? I said I was, this is the third message, right? Yeah, this is the third message. I was about to say, didn't I say I was going to do three messages? Because the first message is going to stay in the uh, membership area. Yeah, you got the seven to six coming out. Somebody need to protect their peace, protect their space. Okay, what's going to be the outcome of this? Grandfather, what's going on? Because we don't want to waste our time. Okay, somebody can love you. Somebody can want you. But if they don't come forward and do what they need to do to make it happen, then it doesn't matter. So we're not going to waste time. What's the future movement? Yes, we are still young. You said I'll move on in a heartbeat, okay? Yeah, because I don't save numbers, you know? So once your number is no longer at the top of my little situation and is no longer in my recent call log, I don't know who you are anymore, okay? So you need to make sure you stay at the top of my uh, text messaging list and my call log, okay? Because when it seemed like I'm starting to call you more often than you calling me, okay? 
baby, I forget about you. After a while, you get lost in the abyss. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Eventually, you get lost in the abyss. So either you go stay afloat, okay, or you go float on, float on. What's it? Float on, float on. <laughs> Alexa, play float on. I ain't heard that song in so long. That is not, that's not what I'm thinking about. Who is it by? The floaters? Who is the, no, it ain't the floaters. Float on, float on. Float on, float on. Y'all, what song is that? Alexa, pause. You should know what I want to hear. Okay? Since we got a toxic relationship, we just going to keep it going. Okay? You know what's funny? Oh, yeah, it is the floaters. Because they started off with Aquarius, Libra, Leo, Cancer. So it's something about those signs. Because he'd be like, and I'm a Cancer. And I, <laughs> I love whatever they say. Alexa, play the floaters float on. If I get copywritten for this part, I'm just going to have to cancel it out.